Welcome to the Blue Mage 1 to 70 Skills Guide. In this guide, we will cover all of your skills as you train to be blue dabu dee dabu die better than the rest of them, but also hopefully kill your enemies along the way. Watch as you go from this to this. This guide is framed in the mindset of players completely new to Final Fantasy XIV or the MMO genre in general. In that same vein, we will merely be going into an overview of the actions and how to use them. Optimal rotations are better left to their own in-depth videos just due to how much complexity is involved in perfect openers and overall rotations. We will however be crafting rotations as we go to help new players understand what goes through creating openers and give them a foothold to push themselves into being able to do it on their own. The goal is to drop players in on the ground level so they can make strides to improve themselves. All tooltips will be shown at the level cap of Blue Mage, which is 70. Due to how Blue Mage works, there is no true syncing for your skills, but I still recommend all players add sprint to their hotbars. But Blue Mage has no limit break, so don't bother with that one. But both are still found in the general tab of your actions menu. And as for how my hotbars build? It'll make sense at 70. Just put skills on your hotbars in a way you feel comfortable using as you're leveling. Everyone has their own way of doing things. Let's begin. Level 1, Water Cannon. We begin Blue Mage with a simple spritz of water. This has a cast time of 2 seconds and a recast of 2.5 seconds. It does 200 potency to a single target. It costs a lowly 100 mana to use. The fact that it has below GCD cast time means you can easily move and cast. It also leaves a tiny bit of room for weaving, but it isn't all too much. You are most likely still going to clip your GCD with trying to weave between skills, but for now, that is okay. Level 1, Learning. This is the big secret to Blue Mage. Certain enemies out in the world have the capability of giving you skills. All you have to do is see the skill be used, and then kill the enemy for a chance at obtaining it. Most skills are very easy to learn as long as you see it and survive. This is where the majority of Blue Mage skills come in. Make heavy use of the Blue Mage log to be able to get this done. At level 8 we get our first roll action, Addle. This is a good utility skill and you should take special note of your roll actions. I will not be going deep into roll actions during this video, but I shall be making note of them. If you'd like an in-depth description, check the Mage Roll Actions video in the description. I do recommend it because there are some good skills in there. Level 10, Maim and Mend. This is a trait, a passive ability. Your base damage and healing powers are increased by 10%. This is a simple boost, but a nice one. At level 18 is the roll action, Swift Cast. Level 20, Maim and Mend 2. This is the same as the first Maim and Mend, but double the boost. It's still just a simple boost though, at 20%. At level 24, is the roll action, Lucid Dreaming. Level 30, Maim and Mend 3. This is now a 30% increase to our base damage and healing power. It's getting pretty big of a boost now, but you probably still won't notice it at all. Level 40, Maim and Mend 4. Maim and Mend, show me the way. Now we have a 40% boost to our power. But can this truly be the end? No, it must not, for there is always more to go. More maim and mend for all of us to enjoy. At level 44 is our final roll action, Surecast. Level 50, maim and mend 5. A 50% boost to our damage and healing power. This is a bit much, but Blue Mage is meant to be overpowered after all. This boost helps it live up to that lofty goal. 
1000 damage becoming 1500 damage is a really big difference. So now we finally hit level 50. We should get into building ourselves an opener. This should be pretty simple, but you may get lost at some point, so I'll be sure to go over it after just like normal. Water cannon. Water cannon. Water cannon. Water cannon. Swift cast. Water cannon. Water cannon. Water cannon. Lucid dreaming. Water cannon. Water cannon. Water cannon. Water cannon. Water cannon. And continue on to your main rotation from here. So let's go over what makes this opener tick. We start with a water cannon to get the rotation started off. It's easy to use so it gets us off on the right foot. We then move into more water cannons to prepare for our burst phase. This burst is signaled by the introduction of Swift Cast. We use the Swift Cast to get in some extra movement and faster water cannoning. We keep pushing out water cannon to keep the damage coming out at its highest point. Then we fit in Lucid Dreaming at the end of the burst to make sure we don't run out of mana. Then we continue to push out water cannons to round out the opener before moving into our base rotation of more water cannons. Seems simple enough, right? There was a bit of complexity in there, but it should be enough to get you all the way up to level 70 no problem. But if it's still confusing to you, you could always ask more questions. But don't worry, we aren't green, so we won't die. If it wasn't clear yet, uh... April Fools? But thank you for watching anyway. I'm sure the length gave it away, but don't worry. A real guide is in the works. Nothing like this though. Blue Mage is far too complex for this format and such. I'll figure it out and get through it for everyone's sake. And I want to just state for the record that this is 100% accurate to how this series works. This is a leveling skills guide. What skills do you get while leveling? Everything shown in this video. So you can't say I made a joke that goes against the spirit of the series. This is 100% accurate. This is the official Blue Mage 1 to 70 leveling skills guide. It is accurate. But for now, I'ma keep this ending short. Thanks for watching, take care, and may the power of Ananit Hogsley waste to your enemies. And also, this is where I would normally thank all of my patrons, but I wanted to keep this a surprise for all of you too, and this is a new month too, so I'm trying to be equally fair to all, and so I'm doing the ending like this. Thanks for all of your support no matter what tier you are, and the script for this video, even though it's extremely short, will be available tomorrow for all of you big dragon donors. Once again, thank you very much. If it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be able to do stuff like this at all. Thank you very much. And go play Hades, because that game is the best game of this year, and it came out last year. See ya!
It's like all my name days have come at once. <laughs>